Raven of Locksley, a knight bold and good, back from the holy wars becomes Robin Hood. Master Robin. It's Master Robin. Tom, it's Master Robin. Martha, it's good to see you. Master Robin. Tom, you came back. Heaven be praised, the pilgrim found you. At the very gates of Jerusalem. But it was months before I could start home. I said the day of vengeance would come, Arthur. Master Robin will strike down every last one of them. I've had my fill of bloodshed in the past four years, Tom, crusading with King Richard. I've come back to visit my father's grave and claim my inheritance. Then I want to settle down peacefully. There's no peace left. They'll kill you unless you kill them first. Kill me? Who'd want to kill me? Sir Roger de Lille and the rest of the Normans. Let's swill their wine up in the manor house. When did this Roger de Lille move into the manor? It was a year ago. Luxley Hall stood empty. Then he came to the gate, waving a scroll with a big red seal on it. What Camwell told them you'd be back from the crusade, and they flout him till he was well nigh dead. Poor what? but I'll make it up to him as soon as I get my lands back. You'll not get them back, not unless you kill. Cut off their heads, man and woman alike, starting with Roger de Lille. Kill! That's the only way. you best lie back in your bed, Tom, or you'll shout yourself into the grave. I'll get you some hot broth. He doesn't understand. Master Robin doesn't understand. I know Tom sounds daft to you, but he's not to be blamed. Why should I blame him? He's loyal and faithful, and I can see he's suffered for it. Night and day we've lived in fear of our lives. I heard rumors of these evil things, Martha. That's why I came back. But I can see I stayed away too long. Everything's changed since you went, Master Robin. Sometimes I think when Tom raves about blood and death to the Normans, he's the only sane one of us left. It's time I made myself known to these guests of mine. When the stupid dog of a Saxon sir refused to get down on his knees, so I drew my sword and sliced off an ear. <laughs> <laughs> no more wine. Be quick. I told you to keep the cups filled. You were carving up a surf, my bow leaves. Ah, oh, so I was. <laughs> well, the stupid fellow came at me with his bare hands. So I, I pinned him to the wall. Ah, oh, Hubert, what do you want? A gentleman wishes to see you, my lord. How dare you interrupt us? Let him wait. <laughs> but he refuses, sir. He says his business is most urgent. Urgent? Who is this impudent fellow? He gives his name as 
Robin of Loxley. Robin of Loxley? That's impossible. He's dead. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I have a paper to prove it. And I'm here to disprove the paper, my lord. It's true, I was wounded in the service of the king, but I'm very much alive, as you can see. You're alive, yes. But you're not Robin of Loxley. Under ordinary circumstances, I take it ill to have my word doubted. But you are, in a sense, guests in my house, whether invited or not. All I ask is that you leave my home as soon as possible. If you do so peacefully, we can forget what's happened. Most generous of you. All he wants is that we should give up our home and our land and turn them over to him. My home and my land. So you tell us. But I say Robin of Loxley is dead. And you're an imposter. We can easily test whether I'm an imposter or not. Call in the people from the estate and ask them who I am. <laughs> the testimony of a Saxon serf means nothing. I have another witness. A Norman witness of high standing. But I prefer to bring him to the attention of the Sheriff of Nottingham, if you force me to take my cause there. <laughs> what purpose could that serve? The Sheriff himself commissioned me to take over this house and land and to maintain peace and order. Since my return, I've seen little peace and less order. I've no wish to argue these matters with you. Your claim is preposterous. Robin of Loxley is dead. He was killed in the Holy Land. His father died, leaving no other heir. No other heir but me. Look at his picture and you'll see a resemblance. So I see you close your eyes as well as your ears to justice. I meant to have that piece of rubbish thrown out long ago. Hubert, take this picture out and burn it. Sir Roger, Lady Delisle, forgive me for interrupting your dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I made a mistake in coming here. Yeah. The mistake I made was to waste my breath on a scoundrel who shall answer to me either in court or by the sword. Help me! Help me! Get be as bold as you, my dear. But what of his threat to go and see the sheriff? Yes, we must do something. I'll think of something. I'll see the sheriff this very night. Have no fear, my lady. We can trust the sheriff. Quite, my dear. So much more prudent than trusting to the sword.
Carrying out the punishment, we're royal foresters. What is the punishment? Very unpleasant one, I assure you. In this case, it's eyes, fingers, and the forest. You're going to do that to him just for killing a deer? Well, I don't like it any more than you do. I'd better go talk to Prince John or whoever settled these matters for him. Right. Touch him with that, you get an arrow through your throat. You're a bold fellow, aren't you? Think you can kill all three of us? If I have to. <laughs> now untie him, and then leave. Well, our duty doesn't include getting ourselves killed. You can have him. For now. We'd better get away from here before they get their courage back. What are you going to do now? You can't go near your home, that's certain. My children are starving. I'd like to get some meat to them. Tell me where they live and I'll take it to them. Oh, my home's over at the crossroad. But where can you go? That's the question. I'll have to find the outlaws and spend the rest of my life in hiding. The outlaws? Somewhere in Sherwood. That's all anybody knows. Deep in the forest. Englishmen forced to live in the forest like hunted animals. That way, my friend. I wish to see the sheriff. State your name and the nature of your complaint, please. His worship can't see everyone at once. My name is Robin of Loxley, and I wish to bring charges. Ah, yes, the complaint against Sir Roger de Lille. I know all about it. You do? You kindly wait over there. I don't know when the sheriff can get to you. Since you know who I am, perhaps you also know that I've come a long way from the Holy Land. You crusaders are all alike. You volunteer to go to the war of your own accord. <laughs> Nobody makes you go. And then you expect special consideration because of it. Now, please take your turn. Perhaps we'll be able to do something for you late tomorrow or the next day. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, the sheriff will wait, sir. But all these people were ahead of me. His worship thought your case too important to be delayed. Very considerate of him. Let him pass. What's Sir Roger de Lille sitting up there for? A useful custom of the Norman lords. They sit in judgment on their own cases. Who's the other one? The Count of Severn, Sir Roger's cousin. So you are the man who claims to be the son of the late Edward. I am the son of the late Edward of Loxley, master of the King's foresters in this shire. That is the matter we are here to decide. I hardly expected to find the man who stole my property sitting with you in judgment. Watch your words, I warn you. Well, only for consultation. Before we hear your claim, there is a question I should like to ask you. What were you doing at the hour of dawn this morning? What's that got to do with my claim? Answer the question, please. Is it not a fact that you were in Sherwood Forest and that you willfully obstructed the King's justice? Hardly justice. I did prevent some foresters from committing an act of barbarous cruelty. A full confession. You have not only admitted your guilt, but you remain arrogant. In my judgment, you should be declared guilty and sentenced to imprisonment. Plus the forfeiture of his estates. The forfeiture of your estates. That is customary. The title of Royal Forester passed to me from my father. And I was within my rights this morning, as you well know. This is a crude attempt to justify the theft of my property. Forfeiture of your estate to the Crown. Is there anything further? You dare to speak in the name of the Crown. I bear a letter from King Richard, who shall hear of this by the first courier to the Crusades. May we see this letter? You doubtless recognize the royal seal. The first part is some remarks His Majesty was good enough to make about my military service. The second asks all officers of the Crown to give special assistance to any cause of mine. My Lord, I protest. Uh, this is undoubtedly a forgery. The seal is authentic. Why was I not shown this before? This used to be a court of justice, whether one bore a king's letter or no. It is clear that there has been a grave injustice, and that you are who you say you are. If there is anything we can do for you, as well as the full restitution of Loxley Hall, together with all its lands and people... When may I expect this restitution? Sir Roger will doubtless have made all the necessary arrangements by noon tomorrow. You will then meet at your estate, and he will hand over the documents. My lords. What in heaven's name are you thinking of? A man who has the ear of the king can be a great danger. This cannot be handled in the ordinary way. But my estates! Hold your tongue, Roger, and listen to what his lordship has to say. If you want the estate, you will have to earn it. Earn it? You mean... Work for it. You can't hand an estate over to a man unless he's alive, can you? Nor can King Richard receive any messages from a man who has unfortunately met with a fatal accident. Accident? May we take our leave while I explain to my cousin your brilliant solution to the unfortunate return of young Loxley? Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Uh, the documents are completed and ready for signing. If you'd just come this way. This 
this was my father's when he first served with our King Richard. My lady and I have a lot to do before we leave the house. If we may proceed to business. I have no desire to cause you any inconvenient haste in your departure. Uh, it is quite convenient to leave today. And in that case, let us sign the papers. Uh, this is the deed in which I renounce my claim to your estates. Uh, the notary has prepared this document for your signature. What is this paper that you wish me to sign? <laughs> you may read it for yourself. It's merely a document releasing me from all claims. Stay away, Master Robin! No, will you? Ah! Go quickly, Master Robin! They're going to kill you then! <laughs> Night and make it quick. You're the man I've been looking for. You're looking for us? I thought the quickest way to find you would be to build a fire so that instead of going to the outlaws, the outlaws would come to me. What do you want with us? You're not a poor man. Look at your clothes. You're a rich Norman. Neither Norman nor rich. Then what are you? A spy? A spy. I'm wanted for the murder of Sir Roger DeLille. You killed DeLille? I don't believe you. I didn't. I said I was wanted for his murder, not that I was guilty. He's making sport of us. Wait. Now listen, my friend. We're outlaws, because that's what Norman law has made us. They took our land for taxes, treated us like cattle. There's a price in our head, so the sheriff has sent out informers and spies. And we think that you're one of them. I've told you the truth. If you try to rob or attack me, you're doing the same thing to a friend that you're accusing your enemies of doing to yourselves. Oh, fine words won't save you. This glade is thick with arrows. They're all pointing at you. Wait, Will! I know him. He's the one that saved me from the foresters. The man with the hood. Are you certain? Look at him closely. Make no mistake. In truth, I know it. He saved my life. And made three foresters take to the hills. I swear he's the one. Why are you seeking us? To join your band. To join us? Give him a chance, Will. What's your name? Robin of... No. Robin. Robin of the Hood. Robin Hood was brought to you by... Wild Root Cream Oil, the one and only largest selling hair tonic. Sandy Becker speaking. To a tavern on the green They vowed to help the people of the king They handled all the trouble on the English country scene And still found plenty of time to sing Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen Robin Hood, Robin Hood, 
with his band of men, feared by the bad, loved by the good. Robin this film has been flown to the United States by a Pan American World Airways. Robin Hood.